Hey everyone, it's me and Nix, and we are back with more Factorio. I'm sorry, my brain is not working right now. So last time I left off, we were trying to create a green science, and I'm trying to remember buttons to clear rocks and everything. So we were trying to create green science. We got the circuit boards working, and it's progress. I mean, it's slow progress, but it's progress. So I'm going to extend, I actually, I don't know, I don't think I showed it in my last video. I actually extended my copper production and my, no, I showed the iron production. But I produce, I made it so that there's two lines per. So that means that more, there's more um, iron that can be used to do all this. And I put up an extra row. I think I had shown this one last time, but I got, uh, this two and then four more down here and then two iron down here or copper and then one copper up here so we have a lot of copper going a lot of iron going uh, unfortunately I'm using a lot of coal so I may have to go put another coal one down just to be safe so I'm gonna build that and replace that just because I don't want to start running out of coal there we go perfect okay green science <laughs> So I want to leave like up to like this area, have this be like my cutoff for whatever so that way I can build this on both sides if I need to. So if I'm going to build anything and I'm trying to plan out because I know blue science takes a lot. So I'm debating if I have the green science here and then have the blue science over here. So that might be what I'm going to try to do. So. Uh, I have to make belts, which is easy, and inserters, which is relatively easy. Okay, so yeah, that's a pretty small, uh, I was going to say, you require three, right? You require three. So I need a level two. Actually, we're going to do two level twos. I'm going to need more. I need a ton of iron. Who's shocked? You need a ton of iron in this game. Just accept it. Uh... Okay, so I'm going to need some splitters. And I went through when I was doing the other thing and kind of did some of the red science things. So we're basically out of red science things, I believe. Yep, we're out of red science things. So I'm just going to do this one. It's never going to be done because it needs to actually have stuff to be done. Oh, I need underground belts. And I need more iron. This is the benefit of this method, is you have a ton, I should go get more conveyor belts, because I used all my conveyor belts. Give me, uh, let's make you a little bit bigger, just because I feel like I need a lot of that. Okay, so I need, we know that I need this, and I'm going, whoops. That was the wrong one. What I'm trying to do is keep keep it so that my iron and my copper and my um, circuits always are, like, I'm not cutting it off. It's not like I, it's ended. I'm not building anything right here so that it stops. That way, we always have uh, those materials if I need them. So I can, I can extend all the way, like, in the map over here, I can extend all the way over here and have this entire area be like my factory, but the resources that make everything just come from this area. So that's the plan. It may not work that way. We're going to attempt to do it that way, though, because it's very efficient to do it. Okay, so I need... I, I'm going to have to check this like three or four times. I need iron gears... I need a lot of iron, and I just need iron? I just need iron. Okay, cool. Uh, I need iron gears for both of you. So I wonder if I could have an iron line and a gear line. I probably would need two things to make gears for me. I'm thinking if I bring the iron down and, like, you make gears... Maybe have like another one here that also makes gears. And then have, this is my conveyor belt one, and then this is my 
science whatever one um <sighs> whatever it's called uh insert a one and then that way i only have to run a few things down here to do that so i might do that i think that might that probably be the plan I, i'm just gonna make something and we'll figure it out later i need three of you I never have enough inserters. Constantly I need inserters. And I need a long one for you. And I need to move you down one. Do, 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 do. And this is why I talk about how I make spaghetti bases, because it's like it's only this only works if everything is exactly like perfectly positioned. If it's slightly off, it doesn't work, so that's why it's not efficient. You don't really want to do that. You want it to not be like this. It's like I should probably have two inserter factories. Let me look. You take one second. You take So I should have two of these, basically. That's what that means. Minimum. Minimum of two. You take one, and you take 2.2, .2, so I should have, yeah. I need a minimum of two of those factories, so. Okay, so what I can do is move this over one. I know everyone's like, no, you just put that down, why? Okay. So I'm going to figure this out on, okay, pick the, that up. If I have you guys like this, and then I can run the green thing down this way. And then I have to think about uh, uh, taking stuff out, so my output be like that and then I could have both of those come down here hmm okay I'm gonna stop and think for a second so I'll get back as soon as my brain starts working okay I think I think I figured out what I want to do now we're gonna see if I have the ability to do this Of course, you're just one away. Just one. And it doesn't reach you, because, yep, same thing. Okay, so unfortunately, I'm going to move you. That should be perfect. And then I can put two more here. We See, the thing is that once I get these poles up and I swap into the other thing I want to do, it'll be so much easier. So much easier. But until then, it's going to be awkward. Need you there. And you are all uh, green science. And then I just need to run down my stuff from up here. And make sure I get this all done. Sorry, that actually took me a little bit of time to think about. So, unfortunately, I'm not sure how much of that I actually talked. How much of that I was like dead silent staring at the screen, pondering life and whatever. But, hopefully some of that's useful. If not, I don't know, we'll figure something out. So, let's see. It's really stupid. I should have made it sideways, probably. I should have made it like this way, because then I could have the blue science down here. I might, I might change everything. We'll find out. Let's see if it actually creates science, because if it doesn't, that defeats the whole purpose. There you go. 
And I need more conveyor belts. <sighs> so much running, so much running, so much running. But we actually, you know, we made green signs. We're making it. We're getting there. And I think I made it efficient. Oh, it's on both sides. No, that should be fine. As long as I patch it into the thing, we'll be fine. There we go. And I'm just going to put you guys in there. So that should work. See, this is the problem is like right now I have um, if I'm trying to get the blue and purple science in here like I could make the purple science in this little small area but the blue science I'm going to have to run like a thing that's like huge <laughs> to get over to here so that's the only downside to my design like I probably should have put these two in parallel with this ran the things that way put this over here and then I could have the green science just down here Some, I don't know there's probably a more efficient way I didn't do it but right now we have all of my factories for getting green science from everything it is working out surprisingly I might need another conveyor belt maker oh I'm not export I'm not taking stuff out of this one that's why I was like, why do I not have enough you know, uh, gears? I specifically made two to make sure we'd have enough gears. There we go. That should be good enough. I still may need more gears. Okay, so that looks good. Nope, you need to go that way. I need another red one. And I need you to put nope you have to take stuff out put it there put you there hopefully that's enough we'll find out shortly yeah once I start getting some more conveyor belts this should be good come on electrical engineering distribution get done Yeah, I think that's perfect. I think we got a good steady amount right now. I'll know once my uh, some of my inserters go away because right now the inserters are backed up. So the inserters are not being produced. Because I need to see in a per basis of do I have enough gears to stuff being produced. Now, one thing I could do is upgrade these. I might do that. Because that will... Perfect. Let's work on solar. I don't know. I didn't even read what that was. Let me upgrade you because they'll work a little bit faster then. Because if that's not... I think it's like minor. Crafting speed is 0.7. Yeah, it's, it's 0.75 or 0.25 faster. I think it's slightly more energy consumption. Yeah, more energy consumption. Now, whatever. But if I need them produced at that rate, I need them produced at that rate. So. And why is my belt not balancing? I don't know. We shall fix this. Well, I can always do this. And do this. That'll force it to be a little bit more balanced. There we go. <sighs> Balancing games. And I'm probably going to leave that there for today because we actually got our green science running. It's working. And I'm not sure how long I took off not talking. So I don't really want to be have another 35 minute episode, unfortunately. So hopefully that's good. Um, I think we're doing good. Oh, I put this in. I don't know if I mentioned it. It is a radar. I don't think it's... Let's see if it does it. What it does is it scans the area. And it's like this is... The square here is an active view of this area. So anything that happens in this area, it tells me about... There we go. 
but it also scans further away and creates this little like highlighted area where when it finishes scanning a sector. So let's see if it, does, it should do it again. So there you go. You see it scanned that sector right there. So unfortunately what this does is this is, like I said, this is the active area of my radar. This is the, everything else around, it does like a square, I think it's like twice this or one times this on either side, something like that. Um, but it does a passive area around it where it scans, as you saw, it scans kind of slowly. If you look on the bottom right of this, when I hover over it, sector scanning progress. Um, it's really slow as far as that, but what you can do is it gives you an idea of what your surrounding areas look like. So normally what you do, or what I was doing with this in my previous play, is I have like my one one here, and then I'd put another one over here. So I'd have a whole bunch of active areas around me scanned, and then it would show me further out. Which is kind of useful. You can create like forward bases so you can see the enemies coming to attack you, or something to that extent. Which is really smart, so. I may start doing that soon. That'll work, that'll get itself taken care of. Everything should be good, and as you can see, my factory is doing pretty good. We have, most of my belts have backup on them, which is what you want. Again, this is how I see what you want. Because um, having a backup means that everything is working efficiently, it's not, the, the bottleneck is further down the line, it's not at the beginning of the line, it's like, these are what's taking the time. Which is not a problem, because this is means that when I move to like the next one, I'll have a ton of stuff waiting for it. So, I'm good with having the end of the line be the bottleneck. You don't want to have like my gear production was the bottleneck beforehand. You don't want that. You want to have the stuff that's like the thing that's holding it up is at the end. Because if it's at the end, it doesn't matter if it gets taken care of quickly or not. And we can optimize it later so that the ends the end parts are quicker or something but that's not like I said not a big concern like if I do this and I take all this green science and red science and put it into one of these machines it doesn't hurt my production quickly fills up the rest of the belt with more science so anyway that's my whole thought so I'm gonna leave it there for today so thank you all for watching I appreciate it please leave the likes and comments below to help me Maybe you have a better, maybe you have a better design for this <laughs> calamity I have over here. Maybe you could offer a better solution to what I have currently, but that would be beneficial because I was trying to think of the best solution at the time. But it's not ideal. It works. That's all that really matters. But obviously, if you have a little bit more fine tuning with it, it'll be a little bit better. Uh, I think I wanted to check this. Yeah, it was six. Yeah, six. So yeah, I have good, good balancing between those. Uh, and that's what I was trying to do is make it so that every time I create one thing, one thing here and one thing here, it can be used one time here. So that you have a supply of one green science every second, which might be a little overkill. We shall find out. If it is, you just take out one of these lines and you're good. Cuts it in half. If you, you know, whatever, take out the Everyone's perfect. But anyway, like I said, I'm rambling. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video.